grab about half a teaspoon of powder, okay, and drop your powder in your cup or your glass, okay. So just do that, and then, okay, we're gonna tidy up later, and it's very simple. Just grab your hot water, okay. If we're having the hot one, then we are grabbing hot water to mix into your tea. Oh, don't worry, my glass is very, very strong for hot water. Okay, so it depends on how much you want to have. You can just make it like a big glass like this, or you know, your standard mug size. Okay, just about that, that's enough. And don't forget to stir. Okay, give it a good stir. So if you use the right dosage, you should see that the color is like, you know, tea color. It shouldn't be too light. It should be like a dark kind of like apple juice color. So you guys can see that. Now, this is your simple, straightforward, plain herbal tea. Okay, now I'm going to show you guys how you can actually make it taste nice because I know some of you guys complain about how you don't like the taste or you found, you know, drinking tea very boring. What you can do is, Everybody has lemon at home, right? So don't you love how I'm using chopsticks? So you can put some lemon in there, a couple of slices. If you like a bit stronger, you can put more. But also, I will suggest you guys to mix the lemon slices with some orange slices. Why? Extra vitamin C, but also oranges will give your tea just a touch, just a touch of sweetness. You know, take your attention away from the lemon. But now you have your lemon and the orange infused in your tea. Just give it like, I don't know, you can give it like half a minute or one minute sort of like, you know, waiting time. Let the, you know, let the citrusy sort of like, you know, a taste and also the vitamin C to be infused with your tea. And then you drink it, you enjoy it. If it's really, really hot, of course, you gotta wait for it. I just use boiled water for it, but I guess for all of you to consume this in the morning or anytime, make sure you use the temperature that is consumable, okay, so you don't have to wait for a long time. Now, there is a hot herbal tea with lemon and orange infused. Now I'm gonna show you how you can make a hot, high-protein coffee, okay? So it's very simple as well. All you need to remember is you need your coffee mix, you need a hot liquid base. So here we have hot soy milk. You can also use your cow's milk, your dairy milk, or you can use any type of nut milk of your choice, or you can use simply hot or warm water as well, okay? And <laughs> we're gonna bring another guest star here, which is our seasonal pumpkin spice shake, our F1 shake. So in a minute, we're going to combine the F1 pumpkin spice shake together with our high protein iced coffee together and the milk to create our own seasonal pumpkin spice latte woohoo okay so now let's go and make this amazing hot beverage mmm smells so good I can really smell the pumpkin spice and the mocha together and I'm really ready to drink it. You know, you want the full cafe experience, you have to get yourself a very nice mug. And when you pour this out, look, it's perfect amount. Beautiful, look at that froth. 
And if you do want the extra, you can sprinkle some cinnamon powder on top, right? Or some turmeric powder if you like, and just enjoy this hot beverage in cold winter's day. You don't need to go down to Starbucks, you know. Create your own Starbucks experience, but with a Herbal Life high protein coffee. Mmm. You will also need one, actually two tablespoons of flour, okay? And you will need one quarter teaspoon of baking powder. And then you will need a pinch of salt, okay? Remember the pinch of salt? And one teaspoon of olive oil. And lastly, one cup of milk. You can use cow's milk or you can use um, soy milk, which is what we're gonna be using today. And any kind of milk, any kind of nut milk of your choice. So these are the simple ingredients that you need to make this yummy protein waffle. So firstly, you want to mix all your dry ingredients together. So have all your powders poured into the bowl and use a whisk to whisk it up evenly. Make sure that all your powders are mixed, you know, make sure all your powders are mixing properly and evenly. Okay, you don't see any clumps. Okay, after you've got all your dry ingredients ready and well mixed, then you're pouring your wet ingredients. So I recommend you to crack the egg, put the egg in first, and then have your soy milk in. Lastly, have your oil, your olive oil in, and then whisk everything together. And make sure you give a really, really good whisk. This can be a really good arm workout, right? You know, give it, I'll say maybe a few minutes. So it depends on, you know, um, you know the consistency of the ingredients, right? So make sure you give a good mix until everything is well blended until you see this nice thick creamy texture okay so the consistency has to be thick and creamy and that is when you know that it's ready so you don't see any uneven clumps or anything like that before you pour your mix into the waffle iron remember to grease your waffle iron because a lot of times when we forget to grease the waffle iron that is when the waffle gets stuck in the gets stuck in the machine and it doesn't look very good, okay? It looks really ugly. So make sure you grease up the iron first and then gently pour the mix into the waffle iron. So you start from the center and slowly pour in until the mixing fills up the, all the boxes, okay? So don't over pour it because if you over pour, it's gonna be a disaster. Trust me, I've been there. I don't want you guys to have to clean your, your waffle makers, you know, for days. So until you have filled up the two boxes, then you can gently close the lid and wait for the magic to happen. So usually what happens is it takes about five minutes or some waffle machines a little bit faster and you will start to see the steam coming out of the machine, right? And you have to wait until the steam goes away. And for most of our waffle makers, it gives you a little green light to tell you that the waffles are ready. So until the steam is all dissipated and the green light comes on, then that is a sign that your waffles are ready. Instead of the icing, I love you guys to sprinkle icing on your waffle, right? I like to use my Herbalife protein drink mix. So sprinkle some protein powder on top. 
And the good thing is, you get extra protein. Yes, how amazing is that? So let me try it for, you know, being the topping for the waffle. And also just to add a bit of more kind of healthy, yummy addition to it, I'm just adding some banana slices on top. Yummy. Yes, okay. 